And we are back this month of April. Okay, they say April showers bring May flowers. We are back this month with your April Purple Pants premonitions. And, of course, we can't do the Purple Pants premonitions without the one, the only, Gary DeAndre, a.k.a. Gigi, a.k.a. The Gangsta Gary. Yeah, he's back. You know, he was gone for a minute. Now he's back at the jump off. It's a new month. Here to see what's going on. How is you? It's good to see you. Yes. Well, what they say in church is good to be seen. Okay. Listen, still still alive, still pumping. Still, still pumping, still pumping. <laughs> Tired as ever. Uh, yeah. Just feel like being to- uh, pulled in so many directions. And I feel like um, trying to find your center uh, of being like, well, what, where, who, how, mm-hmm. what? So just really just trying to stay grounded and staying like... Uh, just centered, really, is how yeah. I'm feeling. <laughs> no, for real, because it feels like everything is kind of like pulling you all over the place. It's like, which flow am I supposed to be flowing with right now? Because it's a lot of flows going on. And all I want to do is lay down for real. <laughs> you ain't never lie. Okay, listen, because I get it. My dog on self, I'm like, it's so much stuff that's happening everywhere all at once. And I'm like, what is really going on right now? Okay, and let me just see where I can stay focused and hopefully everything else will fall into place. But you know, it's a little, it's a little uh, right now. Okay, and they, they talking about it's springtime and everything like that. So things about to start popping off. So I hope that that is a good thing, a good sign for what's to come. Yes. Mm hmm. So, you ready for some cards? See what the T is as we going throughout this month? I am ready to see what the cards have for us. Okay, fantastic. So, for anybody that's new, basically what I'll be doing is a quick little reading as far as the energy that we can expect throughout the month of April. Um, And this is just to see what vibes are we going to be hearing or what are we going to be dealing with as we're going throughout the month of April. So, let's see. What cards, what energy do we have? I like to just pull maybe like two, maybe three. Just keep it real cute. You know what I'm saying? Um, but let's see what the vibe is. What are we going to be dealing with in the month of... Ooh, okay, so we'll stop there. In the month of April. So, the first thing that we have coming up is the King of Cups. Now, whenever we see the King of Cups, King of Cups makes me think about us being emotionally sound. Um, so this is a month of us having to be as emotionally sound as possible, finding that emotional equilibrium, because it's like we were just talking about everything kind of like being like on this crazy little flow. Um, and it's like, OK, how am I chill? How am I at my most emotional centered self as I'm going throughout the flow of everything? But I feel like the King of Cups is also the type of person who knows how to handle themselves in whatever situations are coming their way. Right. They keep their eyes on the prize and they keep their cups full you know what i'm saying like their cups are not overflowing it's like it's a steady flow this also calls to a sense of mindfulness so i don't know about anybody else out there but if you've been struggling to get in your mindfulness bag that's like a little meditation bag like getting into the gym you know what i'm saying doing the things that help you to feel like you are present within your body this is calling that back into your life and i know for me personally that's a read and a stretch because i haven't been doing anything lately Like nothing, like just been off my game, okay? Um, So I think that this is also calling for that to come back into place. This could also be if you are dealing with somebody who is generally a nice person um, and they're the type of person who's very like emotional, like they can sense your feelings as well. This may be calling for you to talk to them Um, because, you know, sometimes we need a little insight from somebody who's got themselves a little more grounded. So this could be a little nudge for you to be like, hey, like I got some stuff going on. Can you help me, like, you know, make it through this right now? Or can we get together? And what do you do in order to keep yourself together? Because I need some of that, okay? And a lot of times we get, you know, stressed out from asking other folks for help. But I feel like this could be a call for that. And we also have the Queen of Cups coming up with the King of Cups. So I feel like this is uh, calling for a real good sit down as far as, like, intuitively knowing what you need right now to get through the month. (laughs) Things are not going to be, they're not going to be easy on the spirit. But you know what you need to do in order to make sure that you're cool, calm, and collected 100% as you're going throughout the month of April. I also think that this could be a great month for somebody's creativity out there. If you've been thinking about doing something brand new, um, if you've been excited to try out something, you know, maybe you had it in the clink for a little bit because it was the winter time. Now, because it's spring, it's springing. Maybe you're trying to spring out or something like that. So this could be a call for you to kind of like try and, you know, dip your feet in something exciting right now, something creative. What are you birthing? 
what are you wanting to start anew? Um, but I also love that we have the king and the queen because these are two of those like really powerful cards in that sense that it's just like, okay, how are you staying balanced throughout whatever you need for your feelings? You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times we don't, we think that we have to deal with it ourselves, but I feel like this is calling for external resources to be called into this space. So that we can be good to go as we're going throughout the month. Yes. How does that sound so far for you, child? I was about to say, because we got a lot of water cards coming up. Yes, and that sounds like so... Um... I mean, when I tell you, I feel like the cards always be reading me. Uh, there are definitely some things going on in my life where I will need to be emotionally sound. And it's just so crazy how I feel like the cards are reading is because random topic of a random topic. But mm -hmm. I've got some things coming up and it's like I may have to do some things on my own. And there are like some people that are like, I can help. Like, you want me to help? And the person that I am is like, I can do it on my own. I don't need your help. But yeah. I also am like, well, why am I rejecting help if somebody is there to help me? So it's like, bitch, open your mind and like put your ego down and say, accept the help. So like I like so receive that. So absolutely. And sometimes I think it's because we've been programmed to like not receive help because sometimes ass receiving assistance is like I guess correlated to like some sort of like weakness or something like that or feeling like we can't do everything that we're supposed to be able to do like but it's also like a strength to be able to step outside of just like yourself and be like okay like right now like everything is feeling too heavy I'm juggling too many things all at once and I'm not even able to do for myself the way that I need to do so it's like this definitely could be of assistance if I had some help to help me get back into balance Right. And also being mindful, the last card that comes up is the Four of Cups. And this is all about just like, you know, sometimes in life we feel we have different opportunities out there that are for us. And we just like to second guess whether or not it's the time to go for it. But this is a time for you to just be very mindful of just like, OK, what have I been withdrawing myself from? Because I know that I deserve better. You feel mm -hmm. what I mean? Like it's like you've been pondering whether or not it's time for you to really like make a move in some way. Um, and this could be just like a call for you to like, stop being, stop feeling withdrawn. Stop feeling like you can't do, mm. this is the perfect time for you to be able to lean in and make something happen. Um, but you got to get your ducks in a row first. You feel what I'm saying? Like a lot of the times it's like that initial bubbling up in your spirit of like something is off. That's what you're supposed to be paying attention to. Um, and I think that right now we may be being called to go ahead and just take the leap. But sometimes when we take the leap, we get scared of how it's going to make us feel. And it's mm. like, nope. Everything is going to be fine. And you'll have some good support in your corner with the king and the queen of cups as well. Hmm. Yes, come on, get your ducks in order. Okay, listen, get ready, get ready, get ready. But it's also just about like, you know, knowing that for yourself, this is the perfect and prime time for you to be able to process like, this is my time. I know that I'm ready for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and lean in the best way possible. Come on, cheetah girls. Okay. okay. <laughs> Very that. But that's pretty much it for the month of April. I was going to say the last thing that I would suggest is as we are getting ready to go into this eclipse season, it's like coming things are going to be moving very fast. So don't get too overwhelmed with what's coming your way. It's going to be a lot of fast moving action. Just make make. I would say my biggest piece of advice is like think through everything and don't be as impulsive as sometimes we like to be. Because mm -hmm. um, a lot of the times like we see something and we're like, oh, we want that. But we didn't li really like process it the way it needs to be processed. So that's going to be like the biggest thing. Like slow down and make your moves accordingly. Period. Yes. I take that the opposite way where I feel like I'm quick to react to something. Mm -hmm. And actually it's like, no, don't give it a reaction. Take a second, process it, and then uh, mm -hmm. give uh, after you have thought about it. So that actually applies to me so much. Pump okay. Okay. Pump your brakes. Okay. Uh, okay. Sometimes you ain't got to, <laughs> it's not no need for all of that. Right. Okay. You don't got to rah, rah. When okay. You just <laughs> breathe in, breathe out and, and, and give an appropriate response. So listen, this is why the purple pants premonitions are just so amazing to me because literally they just speak to my life. Uh, yes. So thank you so much. Before Absolutely. we go, let the people know where they can follow you, where they can listen to you. If they want some personal readings, like what's the tea with all of that? Please share with the people. Yes, you can find me on Instagram, Gangsta Gurry, Gangsta with an A, because we don't do that. You are buster-ish over here. Um, you can find my website, Gangsta Gurry com 
or if you want to book your own personal reading of some sort, you can come and check me out. But yeah, keep me keep me in your, yeah, your line of sight because I may be busting out with some stuff soon. You never know. But keep your eyes open. <laughs> yes, well, we thank you so much. And this has been your Purple Pants, Premonitions of April. Survivor News. Survivor News. Survivor News. Survivor News. Survivor News. Survivor News.